you out to some breaking news now in southwest, uh, or rather southeast Houston. Another police pursuit, a police chase going on on the Gulf Freeway. Last we heard it was uh, near the Clear Lake area. Yeah, something in the air here. We followed you, uh, followed one for you yesterday, a white suburban, this time a burgundy SUV that uh, police are in pursuit of right now. We have Andy Bass and Sky IHD. Andy, can you kind of give us our bearings? Uh, at where are we at this point in what part of the city? We are on the northbound side of the Gulf Freeway, just passing underneath the belt. That was the overpass that you see right there. So we are on the northbound side of the Gulf Freeway, approaching Fuquay Street right there and coming up to Alameda, Genoa. Uh, this red blazer just to oh. Oh, there it Whoa. goes. Door oh, 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 a person fell out. Uh, My person goodness. Fell out. Yes, ma'am. Oh. And But he's continuing on at this point. Oh, he's that pass passenger that just was ejected from the passenger side. Uh, that person oh, that, was that, not moving. That either. did not look good at all. We, we will certainly uh, effort to get an update on the, on the yep, person and their condition. But five. Now, at one point, at the very start of the chase, we saw that SUV try to exit, but it swerved back onto the freeway. That's when you saw that person, uh, that SUV, hit a guardrail, and someone was ejected. It appeared anyway from that passenger side door. But the driver it continues on with yeah, severe damage. Yeah, but there damage. was a door again. There's mm -hmm. the door. You can see that's the door the person uh, came out of. This Clearwood. Is, yeah, uh, and you can see the door is is flipping, uh, flying back and forth because it's it's smashed in pretty good there on the right hand side uh, when the driver uh, hit that guardrail. Uh, Andy, are, are you back with us? Yeah, I am back with you guys. Okay, I know you're having a tough time. But by the Hobby <laughs> Airport area, we can see now. Uh, tell us, tell us what we're looking at. Just got off the freeway yeah, and then back just... on. They just got off the freeway at Clearwood and then just back on it. As you can tell, as we can tell from up here, that passenger door is still flopping in the wind as he turns. That passenger door is not secure. Uh, just passing the airport College Avenue exit, still heading on the northbound side of the Gulf Freeway, uh, just speeding in and out of traffic. And now it looks like he's exiting onto airport and college going around that uh, Honda Accord right there. Well, Andy, I mean, uh, now. Been flopping like that since the passenger was ejected. But now uh, some damage on the driver's side, though it didn't stop the, the driver from continuing on. Well, I'll just say that he or she is driving erratically would be an understatement at this point. There we go again. Um, Cornered a bit there. We've seen this SUV already hit that guardrail, as we noted. And we've seen him sideswipe someone else on the freeway here. The, the SUV, I don't know whether it's maybe lost a tire, but it seems extremely unstable uh, at this point, along with the damage it suffered to that passenger side area. It looked to me that the right tire, one of the right tires, ever since that passenger was ejected and the door's flopping there, it looks to me like that tire looks flat in front a little bit. Yeah, but there we are going through an intersection. Always a scary time when, you, when you're traveling so quickly through an intersection and other motorists aren't expecting to have some vehicle come flying through the intersection, but he managed to, he or she managed to navigate it okay. Uh, got lucky, but again, not so lucky a few seconds ago when you saw this uh, driver hit another car. It wasn't a gentle kiss like yesterday's uh, chase suspect, you know, wiped off the mirror on the side. That was actual a hit. And now it looks like we're in a neighborhood area. Andy, tell me a little bit more about this community, the, the uh, vehicle's in now. Uh, he, well, he just took a right turn right there off of uh, what looked like the feeder road, and he now onto a little side street. I'm trying to get uh, Captain Herman to give me a broad street for you on the GPS to see what exactly road he did take off on. But like he says, it's definitely residential. You could see some homes there. And... Uh, the surface streets, and now we just went around, uh, you know, just took another right on that street. And children are out today. I mean, they're not in school right now, so he could easily come out upon people who are in their front yard playing, you know, a game yeah, of, of that's, catch. Or, that's what or makes anything. my stomach uneasy at this point, is this is a neighborhood. And as you noted, Gina, a lot of people off from school today, so, you know, it looks like he's slowed down at this point. He's not driving too fast. Yeah, he can't. Uh, uh, there's, there's some tight traffic right there. It looks as though a bit of a, a circle, a C, okay. maybe not a uh, complete be, circle. He did get yes, ready to bail right open. here. Looks like he's going to let the car There's rolling. The and let the car. Just and the now car. he's going to try to make a run for it here. Police are right behind him. Remember, we've been showing you the police vehicles. Uh, but, you know, he, he, he's got a helicopter above him, which he certainly knows. And he is not going to be able to escape. And it looks On like he's knees. possibly, well, great. An officer there hopefully was the one that tripped him up there. And they're going to quickly get some handcuffs on this guy who's already sideswiped at least one vehicle that left some pretty bad damage. And also his driving led to the uh, ejection of somebody that was sitting in the passenger seat of his vehicle as well. So this has been a uh, you know, that, pretty tough that's chase something to watch. I don't think we've seen before is a passenger 
passenger just go flying out of a vehicle onto the freeway, and uh, it really took my breath away. And we will certainly be checking to find out more about that passenger and their condition, whether or not that passenger was another suspect involved in whatever infraction led to the initiation of this chase, or whether or not that person was perhaps an intended victim of uh, the person driving the car. But as you see, he, he is now in custody. We can say it is a he uh, in custody in, in someone's yard. Someone's backyard. <laughs> you see the swing right there in that tree, and you can only imagine what could be going through their head if they're at home right now. But if you're watching this live, folks, uh, you see several HPD officers around this suspect. It started in the Clear Lake area. Something prompted the high-speed chase. They came into town on 45. We saw someone get ejected at one of the exits uh, near the beltway, it seemed. Uh, that person, we don't know their condition at this point because they were ejected and they hit the pavement. Officers were there.